Jackson reality star ordered to pay former employee 150 grand for using photos without her permission. Jackson, Mississippi, WLBT, a Hines Court County jury ordered a Jackson reality TV star to pay a former employee for using photos to promote her business without the woman's permission. According to former employee Ada Green, her pictures were used in billboard, vending machines, internet, and flyer advertising to promote Goddess Lengths, a hair extension company owned by Bell Collective star Latrice Rogers. Green tells WLBT3 on your side exclusively that she never received any compensation for the pictures that eventually made her the face of the business. I was aware it doesn't matter where you saw it or picked up any flyer or business card from Goddess Lens. My face was there, Green said. A Hines County jury of 11 women and one man awarded her 150 grand. Green claims she began working for Rogers selling hair extensions at the storefront. She says, soon after the photo shoots began, I just came to work and was told that, hey, we're going to take some pictures, Green said. Green tells us that Rogers never gave her a clear answer whenever she asked about being paid. I was supposed to get bonuses for this and bonuses for that. At one point, it came up that we were going to put another location somewhere else and I would run it, but that didn't come. That didn't happen either. So yeah, it was many ways I asked and it was just brushed off, said Green. WLBT3 On Your Side spoke with Green's attorney to better understand what they argued in court. The problem in this case came about when it went from one purpose to another, and the law says that she must gain consent from Ada when those pictures are being used for business purposes, states attorney Tiffany Horton Williams. She tells us it was not Green's job to ensure that proper consent was given. It is Ms. Latrice Rogers' job as the business mind of Goddess Limbs to ensure that releases are issued to the employees as well as proper consent is given. She had a release for Bell Collective. She gave Bell Collective consent to use her likeness and image, so why didn't she do the same thing for Ada Green? I believe she didn't do it for Ada because if she had a contract, she would have had to pay her but she still got to pay. WLBT on your side reached out to Latrice's attorneys for comment. We were told that they have court on Wednesday and would have a, a response to our story on Thursday. Now, upon looking into this case, this is what I found. Are you guys ready? State of Tennessee versus Latrice Rogers. Okay, if you guys want to pause, you can read. I have all nine pages here. I'm just going to read some of the beginning. Defendant Latrice Rogers appeals the trial court's order denying her motion to withdraw her guilty plea. Defendant pled guilty to multiple charges as indicted with the sentencing to be determined. One week after the trial, sentenced defendant to three years imprisonment. Defendant filed a motion to withdraw her plea. Okay, let me say this is a public document found on Google. Okay, so I'm going to just read her charge. On June 9, 20, 2022, defendant pled guilty to one count of burglary, one count of persons improper, improperly on school premises, three counts of assault, one count of child abuse, and one count of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Following a sentence hearing on June 9, 2022, the trial ordered an effective sentence of three years imprisonment as a range one offender in the Tennessee Department of Corrections. So this was in 2022. I don't see what became of the case, but she was uh, supposed to spend three years in imprisonment. Also, um, her motion to uh, take back her guilty plea was denied. And like I said, you guys can pause and read. I'm not going to read all of this. That's the end of this video, guys. Let me know what you think about that in the chat. Um, support the channel. Also, like, share, subscribe. Come back. And have a great day.